Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatches Net here, and today we're taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 40th Anniversary Original Sketch Raphael. Technically, this is Sketch 3, because Eastman and Lair volleyed a individual sketches, and then this was their combined work to this character you see in front of you. And before we take a look at him, let's take a look at his box. So, he came in this uh, rather nondescript box. You know, 40th anniversary, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle original sketch. And I believe it shows, uh, here's him and Pose. Uh, yeah, it shows the original two versions that they did before they came up with this version. So, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if these guys come out eventually. Um, so, as long ago in Dover, New Hampshire, two upstart comics artists passed the time making each other laugh. Kevin Eastman sketched an unlikely combination of Ninja and Turtle, Peter Laird, answered back with his own version. Before long, a new sketch emerged with all four teenage brothers ready for action, and the rest, as they say, is history. So, yeah, that's the box there. Here is the full set. Uh, somebody's going to call me a monster in the comments, but I only picked up Raphael. So there is, because they come in cases of four, and each case contains one of each of the turtles. I only picked up Raphael. Yes, okay, so just get the monster. So, uh, weirdly, uh, he was only like ten and a half dollars here. Other people are reporting fifteen dollars. I mean, they're not heavy, particularly big figures, so I'm kind of surprised about the pricing. But a typical Ninja Turtles figure of uh, the retro line is ten dollars to twelve dollars, depending on where you go. So, not uncommon. But anyway, let's put the box aside. Inside the box was also this ooze canister with uh, this piece of cardboard. And the cardboard easily comes in and out, and it uh, actually shows that uh, original art drawing from, I, I guess, the first comic book. Uh, keeping in mind that I was like seven or eight years old when these guys came out, and the comic book wasn't friendly to kids of my age. It actually wasn't friendly to kids at all. It was fairly dark. It wasn't until the 88 cartoon that I know what Ninja Turtles were. But, you know, it easily goes into there. It's perfectly fine. Move it out of the way. And then we pull Raphael forward. Now, it comes with four additional accessories. So, there is a sword here. Uh, Leonardo also has this, but I think he has two of these. Uh, I don't... I, how do I put this? Again, not being the target's audience when this stuff came out, I'm not quite sure where Raphael had a sword and to what point they got rid of it for strictly size. But, of course, it comes with a scabbard, uh, which... Uh, hole on either side, so it can go in either way. You can pose it uh, on back or front. Uh, there is actually a hole in the back here. You can decide... If you want it to be like this or like this, you know, and that's when you decide how this goes in. And it goes in like this, or you can put it on this side like that. So it's really um, dealer's choice there. Uh, of course, it comes with two sides and um, red-handled gold ends, uh, silver stabby part. That's what we're going to call it, the stabby part. Uh, they nicely slide in to the belt actually i don't have to move his arm that much into belt and then we can put the uh piece here it just slides in and you can position it how you want i kind of like it like that uh before i forget came with a base all of them come with a base if you get all four and then they build a uh, this is a quarter of a whole set and you can get them to pose in that iconic pose they actually give like michelangelo a box and a, and a board he can stand on uh, so you can create that pose because obviously you cannot defy air your gravity I should say so Taking a closer look at him He has an elongated neck. So it's, it's a more total realistic face. I guess I don't know if their eyes are really that close together But uh, it has like the animation style points on it. You know the shading uh, big feet big hands <laughs> Okay, um, and then of course here's what the back looks like he has a tail and underneath is hollow-ish bits. I'm sure a lot of it's in, inside is probably also hollow either. It's not very heavy, although you can tell it's heavier at the core than it is anywhere else. And um, his arms have modern articulation, which I really appreciate because sometimes when they do retro lines, even if it isn't the true retro, uh, they don't necessarily give them modern articulation. But this has it, nice shoulder all the way around. Uh, he has a small elbow bend is what you can get out of it you know because you know what it is and then a hand up and down uh the legs um i'll be honest with you because of the shell they don't go very far um there is a slight 
knee bend. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, the rotation here. So, I'm, you know, I mean, you're not, for, again, between $10 and $12, you're not expecting too much out of this guy. I just think he looks cool. And he, he goes, complements nicely with my Raphael collection. And, of course, if I want to display him, I always have this base. And it sticks to it really well. Um, definitely worth the effort. I mean, frankly, four times this price if you want the whole set. One last thing before I forget. He has actual head articulation, uh, left and right. And then he has a neck joint, which you can see kind of in his shell. And, uh, yeah, so it's a little bit more than the usual. Again, I'm sorry, I'm a monster. I only got one, so somebody's going to go to a store and only find three. But I only collect Raphael's, so that's on them. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.